Hi. We're here on Lake Erie in Buffalo, New York. This is our first week of a three month film tour in the making of our documentary film, Blackwater, a future history of the Great Lakes. Blackwater is a story about the slow death that's happening in America. And in fact, the slow death that's happening all over the world right now. And it's a chance for us to understand that slow death, to understand the death of the land and the death of the water, and the death of the people of the, of the world. And by understanding that death, we hope to see glimpses of a resurrection which we're already witnessing. And we're witnessing it here on the Great Lakes. So right now we're on the largest body of available fresh water on the planet and the home to 40 million people and many nations, including Canada and the United States and many First Nations. And it's here on the largest body of fresh water in the world that we see a resurrection of another way of life taking place. A way of life that doesn't need political parties, a way of life that doesn't need uh, a marketplace to dictate uh, who gets to live and who gets to die, but it's a way of life that is unlike anything I think that we've ever seen before. And for us, making this film, for me, Augustine, and for and Lindsay, the directors of this film. It is the single greatest cause for hope that we have to be alive right now. We are, Blackwater is a story of subliminal genocide. Subliminal genocide is the phrase that we learned here in Buffalo when we started making this film. We heard that phrase from a resident of east side of Buffalo named Miss Virginia Golden. Miss Virginia lives across the street from a former General Motors plant. And that plant has been leaching PCBs into the soil for 40 years. And she sees the slow death that the PCBs have caused and the fact that nobody can claim responsibility for it as a subliminal genocide. And the story that we're telling across the entire Great Lakes Basin is that story that is the industrial legacy of the auto industry. As the auto industry started in the Great Lakes region and has been here for 110 years. And so for 110 years, we have been slowly poisoning ourselves and slowly poisoning the land and slowly poisoning the water. And we see no end in sight. But when you look really closely, and as we're doing with black water, we're attempting to look very closely into the people at ground zero of the auto industry. And there we see the resurrection happening. We see a new way of life emerging. That is the story that we want to tell. And we need your help. This is a very slow process making this film. We started in 2016. We hope to release this film in 2020. It's going to be a very chaotic decade, we think. And we hope to be grounded in that chaos, to have a, far, a firm understanding of what it is that we face in the future ahead of us. And so we're looking for people to commit to, a, to the resurrection with us, to commit to a new way of life. And you can commit by becoming a collaborator with us, or you can commit by helping to support this film. You can give us a dollar and it would help a lot. And you can give us a hundred dollars and that would help a lot more. We have a goal of $4,600 for this year of filming. So we are operating on a shoestring budget and we need your help to help assemble that shoestring. Any other questions? Why is Blackwater a future history?
Street. The film is called Black Water, a future history of the Great Lakes. And it's a future history because in the future, when this film is still around, we hope we are going to look back at this time, we think, as a very historical moment. And we, wanna, we want to understand what this present moment was. But future history also refers to a, a genre of literature, which is apocalyptic literature. So apocalypse writing is referred to often as future history. And, and that's what we see happening on the Great Lakes is the apocalypse in slow motion. And we call the film Blackwater, B-L-K-W-T-R, because we think of the vowels of the words as the water of the words. And when we look at the future history of the Great Lakes, we see a future of the lakes without the water. And what we're left with are the rocky islands. And that's what the B-L-K-W-T-R are. They are the rocky islands in the future history of the Great Lakes. Thank you. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for watching. My name is Augustin Ganley. I am a filmmaker, and I am one half of the documentary team behind Blackwater.